Shankwela Robinson, a 25-year elderly person who was gravely beaten and killed by a companion during a gathering outing to Mexico, has been connected to new proof from one viewpoint. The U.S. government is treating the case genuinely, yet they are not expected to do as such by regulation. Companions of Robinson originally told her family and the police that she passed on from liquor harming. Anyway, this has since been uncovered to be mistaken. For quite a long time, the homicide of Shanguela Robinson has gotten broad media inclusion. Nancy. Beauty, a regarded lawful examiner and TV columnist in the U.S., has willingly volunteered to advance mindfulness and gather extra proof. Robinson's homicide was, in all probability, organized by her Cabo Six voyaging buddies. They committed a terrible demonstration and afterward messed with proof by giving Robinson's family and the U. S. specialists counterfeit explanations. Individuals are currently transparently scrutinizing the state's regulations because of Nancy effortlessness. Huge public effect. Shankwella Robinson's story is a shocking representation of how equity can be obstructed, and it shows the meaning of straightforwardness, C, and genuineness in criminal examinations. I totally agree with Nancy's situation on this matter. Allowing people to just go to one more country to determine clashes makes a dangerous point of reference, since it demonstrates that they can act without any potential repercussions and dodge the repercussions of their direct. The new instance of the Cabo Six is an extraordinary outline of this, as the people. Involved were allowed to get back to the U.S. without outcome, in spite of their associated contribution in the homicide with a woman in Mexico. General society has predominantly invited Nancy's endeavors to look for equity for the person in question and her family. One individual effortlessness even commended Nancy for her unrelenting obligation to the case. Salmandra Robinson, the mother of the casualty, was maddened by the first lies uncovered to her in regards to the justification for her girl's homicide and requested the cap. Capture and discipline of every one of those. Blameworthy Nancy's mission for equity in the Shanguela murder case was praiseworthy as she investigated every possibility. She found that somebody had recorded the occasions paving the way to the homicide, which effectively reinforced the Cabo Six's charges. In spite of this confirmation, the culprits have not yet been captured and indicted. The recording being referred to has essentially modified the case's direction. The video was shot by a male, and it shows Shanguela being violently beaten by one more young lady, as referenced. By Nancy, the guilty party might be seen slapping, scratching, punching, kicking, and pulling Shankella's hair on the observation film. She had all the earmarks of being separated from everyone else, exposed and unequipped for retaliating. As lobbyist Tamika Mallory uncovered at a question and answer session addressing the Shankella murder case, the purpose to kill was manifest. The assault on Shankella, who got back from getaway with a harmed spine and neck, was caught on tape. The harmfulness of the talk in the video enhanced the poisonousness that Shankella persevered because of her. Reported companions. A few people got letters of appreciation praising Shankwella's understanding and persistence during the circumstance. She kicked the bucket since she represented harmony in any event. When educated to retaliate, many individuals can become trapped in poisonous companionships. Similarly, as they would become caught in horrendous associations with poisonous accomplices, to communicate fortitude with the casualty's family and start the mending system, walks, fights, and monstrous. Chapels were held all through the states because of the video. Individuals have united together too. Look for equity for Shanguela and her family as the video has struck destruction on the public. The suspects should be rebuffed, and there should be a victory of equity. Even after the examination was finished, it was clear that the two young ladies had supported extreme injury, including blood force injury to the temple, rubbing rubs and broke neck and spinal bones. Inebriation with liquor isn't the main source of their demises. The legitimate group, remarkably, Ben Crump and Sue Ann, has put forth exceptional attempts to propel the case quickly by. Finding new contention installments and key observers to help their position has requested that the Cabo Six be caught and removed from the U.S. to Mexico, so the Mexican government might indict the blamed. As per its own regulations, Swan communicated shock at the U.S. government's resoluteness in this matter. The legitimate group presented a letter to the VP of the U.S., Joe Biden, mentioning his help with the case and equity for the young lady. Sue Ann noted in a meeting. That the objective of the letter was to illuminate the organization regarding the case's items and progress, as they seemed careless. The letter contained all the expected proof, and the lawful group did the best that that can with a case outline. And from this most recent story, it's everything from this.